Hey, so welcome to uh, Let's Get This Shit Rolling Wine Reviews. Let's Get This Shit Rolling Wine Reviews. I like it a lot. We're uh, two guys and two hot chicks wine reviews. Tonight we're tasting the 2012 Pinot Noir from Maryvale. We did a Maryvale last weekend. This is a Stanley Ranch uh, Estate Carneros. Just a delicious Pinot Noir. Uh, tonight we had a nice Italian meal, um, spaghetti. I, I, you think about spaghetti here in the States, Andy, and people immediately jump to Italian, but spaghetti was, uh, it actually originated in the Orient, which is odd. Um, noodle, no noodle. No noodle, no noodle. Yeah. I'm with you. Um, anyhow, we had something that was a, a pasta dish, and of course it had quite a bit of uh, flavor in it. Are you fixing my hair? Yes, Thank you. Um, anything that you do that's going to be spicy and big flavored, big and bold, tomatoes, oregano, uh, fresh basil, onions, something that's really going to tease the palate, you have to have a wine that's really going to be able to stand up and compete with that. And the Maryvale Pinot Noir really excelled tonight. Pinot is an interesting grape. It's incredibly difficult to grow. You need a climate that is uh, a bit cooler than what you would have in the Central Valley or even Napa Valley for that matter. Very hard to grow in Napa Valley. You go about south of Napa and, uh, and if you can find a Pinot, you have to really question where were they growing this grape? Right, because it's very, very tough. You'll find a lot of Oregon, a lot of Washington grapes. Is a lot there of a lot of rock in the soil as well? I On have, a Pinot grape? I have no idea as far as the, ter the, the uh, terror the terroir of, uh, of the grapes, if there's a lot of rock in the soil or not. I just know that as far as the, uh, the environmental conditions, you have to have really particular environmental conditions. Uh, the fog that comes in off the Pacific coast and the cool temperatures really lend to being able to grow a great Pinot. If you go inland, it's almost impossible. Right. So the Central Coast is real popular for Pinot Noir, right? Um, so you talk about uh, Paso Robles, Tascadero, the whole Central Coast of California. But here we have a Maryvale uh, from uh, the, what is that, the, uh, the Stanley Ranch Estate. In Carrera. Carrera. So, yeah. so it's, 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 a, it's a Napa Pinot. I don't know. It's, uh, it's pretty outstanding. Well, it's damn it's good. Yeah, let's just it's say so it's weird. really good. Well, Mary Rail is all estate ranch, uh, estate grown grapes. When, what we mean when we say estate grown is it means that the the, the vendor, the, the the label, grows all of their own grapes. So if you ask the winery um, about if their grapes are estate grapes or non-estate grapes, there's a lot of wineries out there that will source their grapes from different regions, and different areas. You can tell a lot about a great winery if they own. 500,000 acres in Napa, and yeah, it's all estate grown. You know, we've had these vines for, you know, 50, 60 years. Right. And just like anything else, we make some, uh, or I should say, the ladies made some amazing uh, peach and jalapeno jam today that was, uh, it was aged. I mean, we've got these old peach trees that have been grown in our yard since, uh, you know, uh, 1999, 2000, 2001. So it's a 15 year old peach tree, right? So you have a 15-year-old peach tree that's been maturing, and a lot of those flavors will come out, and every year the peaches will get a little bit bigger and bigger and it's mature, sweet. just like anything. So uh, hot chick number one this is my wife, Allison. She's rather cold. We'll call her uh, 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 ra Razor Nips tonight. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe not, sorry. She called herself that earlier. Um, what, are you, uh, what are your initial impressions on the Mary Vale Pino? Jamie? Jamie. Okay. Okay. Joe? It's really smooth wine. It's... I don't get it. I, I get a lot of, um... What do you call bold, smooth, and spicy flavor on the wine? Spicy, okay. It's very spicy. Jay? Well, much like the last Mary Vale we had, um... I think that, uh... As much goes into a great wine with the terroir, with the, uh, the the region that it's grown in, when it's harvested, what the season was like, as goes into where they're putting their stock and their oak. So where are they sourcing their oak from? Are these new barrels? Have they just been charred? 
Is this a second or third year char on the barrel? The one thing I can say about Mary Bale is every time I try one of the Mary Bale wines, I get that oak that really, really comes through in every single wine. It feels like I'm visiting the winery. Like some of the smells and the nuances that I was able to take in just hanging out in the cast room comes through in the wine. So initially I'm tasting a bit of uh, a bit of pepper and a bit of that big, big, big oak. It has a very, very peppery, uh, peppery feel to it. So I think I think wines typically are jammy or peppery. I don't know that there's a middle ground. Yeah. It's, it's one or the other, right? Yeah. Um, and this is definitely a peppery, uh, a peppery wine. Um, there's a fruit forwardness to the to the to the initial uh, to the initial drink, but. There's not that sweet syrupy that you get from so many wines. It's it's so for me, my personal palate, I get peppery. It's peppery or jammy in my in my world, and, and, and it's uh, I'm I'm great at describing very big bold yeah. strokes. Uh-huh. Don't ask me to tell you it was it was a uh, blackberry from uh, Oregon or whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that guy, right? I'm not that guy, right? So so I know that 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 it's um, I can describe very very broad strokes of. Um, a uh, very oaky nose, uh, peppery versus jammy in my world. Um, a good long finish. I still taste that here in the back of my throat, um, and it's and it's still sweet and and uh, long, long. Yeah. That finish is long. Yeah. The mouthfeel is uh, kind of medium. It's not it's not real heavy and, and juicy. Um, it's a it's a it's a I would call it a medium mouthfeel, so it doesn't disappear like that. There's not a real heavy tannin structure to this wine. Um, it's very smooth, very easy drinking. I feel it's got a really yeah. clean finish on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice it's, clean finish. It's perfect with a great little spicy pasta. You know, and and that's interesting you mentioned perfect width. Um, a lot of times when we're looking at wines and we are making a chicken dish or making a fish dish or making a poultry dish or uh, poultry chicken, uh, we're making maybe a pork dish, uh, we're thinking, wow, what type of wine would go great with this particular dish? I'm having steak, should I go with cab, should I go with pinot, should I go with, you know, what? To me, and I'm not a wine aficionado or a connoisseur by any means. None of us are. But to me, the unique thing about Pinot Noir is that Pinot really pairs nicely with a variety of different things. If you have a strong, really tannic Cabernet that has that super, super bite that takes everything out of your mouth and dries it out immediately, if you pair that with a piece of fish that's delicate and light and smooth, fish is done. it's going to decimate it. Um, with a Pinot, it's a little more forgiving in that regard, in my opinion. You could drink this with a great piece of smoked salmon. Oh my God, I grilled think, salmon? Yeah, I think uh. you have to have a, uh, a food that's got a nice, bold, and bright flavor to it. You know, you wouldn't want to do this if you're a, uh, if you're a vegan or you're uh, 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 a vegetarian and you're going like, look, I'm just going to have a piece of chicken breast that has been lightly sautéed in olive oil with a, uh, a kale salad. Or turducken. <laughs> or turducken. You're your turducken with kale salad. <laughs> yeah. You know, Tofurky. probably not your best choice. I want your tofurky. tofurky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're vegan or vegetarian. But you could do this with uh, steak, Italian food, or even a nice hunk of chocolate, which I think is what we're going to go into next. Without a doubt. Let's have some chocolate. Absolutely. Or wait, wait. That's the next video. <laughs> Let's do another sip of our wine and say cheers and good night. Absolutely. It's a good life. Thanks very much for joining us. And may every day of your life be a good day.